Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Bob, with me is Blake. Hey. Yella. Good day. And Connor. Hello there. Today we're doing a story that was suggested to us by a viewer uh, in the comments section. Uh, I think he's called Fred M. Lop or Mlop or something. Mlop. <laughs> shoutouts to shout outs to the Mlop crew. Yeah. Shout uh, out to that dude. <laughs> he he found us a story, so we're reading it. It's called "I Will Always Love You." By the way, if you have if you guys find a story, listeners, if you find a story, feel free to send it our way. If it's not too long, we'll definitely take a look at it. Yeah, and if least. as long as it's funny, like we'll. we'll yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, does somebody want to give me the... Oh, it's on Wattpad, and it's called I Will Always Love You. Does anybody want to give me the description? I will always love you. Yeah, sure, I will. Yeah. Loving someone with depression is hard. They'll feel yeah. alone even when, they're, even when they're not. But when Brandon runs into Tessa founds out about Tessa problems, he doesn't care. Yeah. He realizes how He doesn't care about be. Tessa's problems at all. He what realizes how asshole. hard it must be to deal with so much. When yeah, Tessa so and Brandon to run into Tessa. each other at the hospital, I'm sorry. When Tessa and Brandon run into each other at the hospital after she tried to kill herself, what they, get to talking, <laughs> they get to talking and finally have more in common than they ever would have imagined. Wow, you're he depressed also... too. That's great. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want to kill yourself too? Yeah, yeah. it's a common trait of being in this story. <laughs> romance, depression, love, romantic. Great tags. Yeah. Uh, real quick. Let me... Just see which characters. It's just uh, author narrator. Narrator is Tessa. Then there's a doctor, a nurse, and Brandon. Oh man! Right. Just look at this first sentence. What does this writer have against nouns? Um, oh yeah, and then this the that first uh, thing is the same as the yeah. the thing. So, part one. Part one, part which one. is the also story. Any any story that opens up um, in a way similar to Atlanta Nights is a great story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be I'll be the doctor. Okay. I'll be Tessa, I guess. Yeah. Waking up to the beeping sound of the heart monitor and the bright white lights, period. Yep, say. Yep. Great Only verbs. Perfect. Only verbs here. I swung my feet over the bed from one side to another. Yeah. Mm. A, a man in a white doctor's jacket walks in the room. Not a doctor. A man in a doctor's jacket. I'm just imagining this guy reading the name tag off the front of his jacket <laughs> while saying this line. Hi, <laughs> Tess, I'm Dr. Basson. How are you uh, feeling? Okay, hey, You know I what I just realized? What? You know what I just realized? What? A man in a white doctor's jacket walks in. He's not actually a doctor. He's just some guy yeah, that's in a what white I mean. doctor's that's... jacket. Wait, you know what that means? What? It's Deepak Chopra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a man dressed as a doctor. <laughs> so due to the situation, you will have to say here a while and go through treatment. Here a while seeing... and go through treatment. <laughs> you will be you will be seeing a therapist daily and will have a monitor eating plane. <laughs> what? No, That's right. Plane. A it's a plane eating about plane. eating monitors, guys. Wow. Well, I can't tell if that's like screens. Oh, no. I guess her situation is she have to she she has to eat computer parts to live. I was thinking either computer parts or maybe Gila monsters. Uh, well, hey, I like mean li giant lizards. Well, to be fair, guys, she's not eating. She's eating. Yeah, yeah she is eating plane. plane. Yeah, I always eat t my monitors plain. I never have spread on them. Yeah. No, that's just wrong, man. You gotta go for the pure, natural taste. Yeah. My situation, that's a new way of pudding. Pudding? That's a new what? way of sentencing. <laughs> that's a new way, that's a new way of grammaring. Yeah. yeah. I love how you turn pudding into a non-transitive verb. <laughs> I'm anorexia. Hello, and anorexia. depression. <laughs> yeah, and have depression. I was admitted into the hospital after trying to kill myself. Again. Again. Oh, <laughs> that whimsical <laughs> suicide <laughs> attempt. <laughs> but, but no, guys, you know wow. what I just realized? She is anorexia. That just reminds yeah. me very uncomfortably of the whole, like, Anna thing. Yeah. Uh, She's actually anorexia. Yeah. Only this time they're keeping me prisoner in this hellhole. You are... You are just casually... To, you wait, know, wait, wait, not, wait a not second. Not a hellhole, but second. a hellhole. <laughs> wait a second, though. After the... You know, the first time she tried to kill herself was not enough to try and get her treatment. Yeah, no. They just... She tried to kill herself, and they just went, uh, we'll let you off with a warning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I better not see you around here again trying it to kill a yourself. Yeah. A slight slap on the wrist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
cut on the wrist leads to a slap on the wrist. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, Ow! Oh, no! Oh, that's shit. where I cut myself. Don't Ow! Do wow! Well, okay, fine. I'll think twice. Sorry, sorry I didn't mean to. I, I'm still going to try again, but I'll think twice. <laughs> After a few tests, a nurse took me down to the cafeteria. She grabbed my meal. Mine were made by an actual chief due to me being anorexic. <laughs> an actual what? chief, guys. An actual the, yeah. chief. The, the, an Indian chief. Yeah, the, descendant, uh-huh. the descendant of Sitting Bull himself. Yeah, <laughs> Sitting Bull's descendant is just... He's, he's technically the chief, but he, he's really just... He, he just ki- wants to be a chef. He killed, carved, and cooked that buffalo just for you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Nice stereotype. Because the hospital huh? can afford that. Yeah. Why would an actual chef, let's imagine they meant, uh, why would a chef be necessary if you're anorexic? They just need you to eat food or yeah, have it nutrients. Be, it has to be really good food or else you won't want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> She's she's only anorexic because she's such a picky eater. She doesn't want to be anorexic, but no. 99 no, percent of meals it has she nothing has to do with being thin. It's it's that she just has really high standards. Yeah. Well, no, it, uh, it's more like she wants she's anorexic because in this world, this universe, the treatment consists of them flying in a chef to cook you delicious. That's true. Food. You know, I'd be anorexic if that was the, if that was the deal. <laughs> it's like, oh, doctor, help me! I'm so anorexic. Where's my ahi tuna? <laughs> it's like we've got shark fin soup for you today. Oh wow! That's oh, nice. this is totally worth. I mean, uh, I'm not sure I want to eat this. this oh totally my god, worth... he's really anorexic. This was totally worth starving myself the last two days. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, and I'll, this is good I'll, nursing. I will, I will do this nursing. I will be the okay. best nurse. <clears throat> I will be back in ten minutes. Please eat something. The nurse said as she walked away. Don't leave. <laughs> Why this did she take her down to kill herself? Why did she bring the food to her? Why did she make her get out of bed, come to the cafeteria, and eat there, and then leave her there? <laughs> Nobody... She's supposed to be on suicide watch, right? Be- well, That's no, the whole reason no, no, they she, have her. No, no, she just needs to have a monitor eat the thing plane. That's there true. is nothing yeah. like there the nurse. about suicide yeah. watch. Oh, like the, well, I guess like you, nurse... wouldn't need a, you wouldn't need an actual she- chef to, to... I think chief. we could find an old Dell CRT in the basement. I'll yeah. be right back. No, see, they need a chief engineer to do it. Oh. They need a chief engineer to find exactly the right computer oh. parts for it. Yeah. Hey, guys, oh, like, 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 I'm imagining the nurse comes back and she's just, like, sitting there with a fork, like, trying to gag herself with a fork. Yeah. yeah. That's like, stop, what are you doing? Yeah. She's like, I'm eating. I pushed away the tray of food. Uh, Blake, it, can you play this character as, like, a really fat guy? <laughs> Why? Are you going to eat that? That's yeah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm famished. You, I you look really thin, but are you going to eat that? I are you going to eat that? I'm so starved. <laughs> yeah. A tall, brown hair, brown eyed boy says, Ask as he sat down. So wow. you sat, sat, so wow. sat down brown and he said, Ask. Yeah. He was just like, girl. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, I said, and he started to eat my sandwich. Oh, your, gosh. Your, oh. Your, your sandwich oh. made by so, an actual oh. chief. Is this yeah. Ahi Tuna? Oh, so, yeah. Is this a CRT? Man, I love Ahi Tuna. Oh, yeah. anyway. So are you here visiting or something? Because it doesn't make sense for a patient to be in the cafeteria. Alone. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, they have an entire nutrition department. It's part of why hospitals save people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just... It's like, oh, I have a heart attack. Well, I'm going to go to the hospital, so I'll probably die of starvation while I'm in there. <laughs> If I don't have any family to bring me food, so I'm fucked. <laughs> no, no, every yeah, they wheel out all their coma patients over to the cafeteria, leave them there for an hour, and eat, and then <laughs> oh, they eat and bring them back. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm I'll, sorry, your I'll be your back. husband's your husband's condition is deteriorating. He hasn't <laughs> eaten anything in months. Of course he hasn't. You, he's been in a coma. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Oh, your, I thought what he was just. We your... take him to the cafeteria. He does nothing. I thought he was what just is always your asleep. Point? <laughs> Man, please, I'm a doctor. I'll be back in an hour. If you could hear me, try to eat something. <laughs> ma'am, I'm ma'am, I, I am know a it'll doctor. Be difficult, but try to scarf it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. I'm Deepak Chopra, MD. Yeah. 
<laughs> wait, no. If you don't look at them, they'll disappear. <laughs> well, wait a minute, guys. Do you think? Do you think that's it? Maybe the reason she's receiving such shitty treatment is that she's actually at the Chopper Center. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. They're trying to crystal heal away her depression and, ex- and anorexia. Oh man. Um, <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's just visiting something like that, and then mm-hmm. and then just another this is still me, <laughs> same same person. You know, you could combine these two. Yeah, if you, you want. You just author. you use a set a period. You, you it's don't, just a period. You don't you don't have to put quotes around every single sentence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm Brandon. We go to school together. I'm a junior. See, see, that was closer. You just need periods now. Yeah, come to think of it, I haven't seen hey, a period hey. in a while. <laughs> hey, man, periods are for women. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember you. You're on the football team, right? My what is on yeah. the football team? Wait, you said he's fat, right? I guess he He's a lineman. De- yeah, I was about yeah. to say, he's like a defensive lineman, because they're always yeah. fat. <laughs> yeah. He said, as I saw the nurse waking back to the table. Oh, oh shit. Where was I? Uh, oh, my God. Here at this hospital, the narcoleptics become the der- nurses. Uh-huh. <laughs> if, you don't have, if you don't have something that, that, that prevents you from, like, if you don't have a mental illness, they just keep you on the, on the staff. Yeah. And they pay you in treatment. Hi, uh, wow. I'm your doctor. Sometimes I have... Uh, some... Everybody's constantly treating each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as I saw the nurse waking back to the table, I slapped the sandwich out of his hand and pulled the tray back to me. Bitch! <laughs> yeah. Tessa, you ate something. Great job. She said and walked away. No! Stop walking away! Stop walking Stop away, you dumb nurse. Oh, I just got back from my smoke break. Better go on another smoke break. <laughs> yeah. Man, being a nurse is easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Who ever said this shit was hard? This is easy. Too you easy. know... <laughs> You know, somebody once asked me, how much this, do man? I smoke? How many cigarettes do I smoke a day? I'm like, I don't know. However many is in a carton, honey. <laughs> yeah. Well, however just take the I number of to. patients I have and multiply it by three, because I take three smoke breaks per patient. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's, yeah. Brandon looked at me wide eyes and a confused look on his face. <gasps> also, the end. kill line <laughs> Until next time. Favorite, comment, follow. No, thank you. There isn't a follow system. Here. But yes, that was the end of the story. just ends abruptly before anything actually happens. And it was updated in February? Yeah, mid-February. That is more than enough time for them to have posted another chapter. Yeah, for you to put up another, like, 200-word chapter. Right. Man, I'm I'm really interested in this one recommended... Come on, take a bathroom break and put your next chapter up. (laughs) I know you I'm really yeah. Just shit run out, out. <laughs> just, uh, guys. I'm I'm really interested in this one recommended story called Prince with Benefits. Uh, we'll have to I, see that. Yeah, I'm not seeing that on mine. So, nope. all right. Uh, thanks for watching. That was uh, la- thank yeah. you, Fred Mlop. Fred Mlop, for the recommendation. Yeah. yeah.